Just blew it, dude. I'm in trouble. Oh, you're in the doghouse. Uh oh, I just texted her too and said, make sure you watch. Sorry, baby. <laughs> yeah, um, you know. <laughs> Was she sensitive she's about more, that? She's more beautiful today than she's ever been, so oh, it doesn't matter. There you go. There you go. That's a good way to save it. You just saved yourself. Okay, and she is gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to move on. I do want to say hi to Nance. Nance, we'll do it in one second. We got to jump into this, and I think this is one of the coolest appliances Isn't that you've so, ever oh, created. It's so awesome. Yeah. Look, I'm making a quick pizza here, so it's super, super fast, super simple. You throw some, uh, and this is a store-bought pizza dough, by the way, a bit of cheese, some veggies if you like them. You just get it on, just a tiny bit more cheese to finish, and then you put your new pizza in your new oven. Mm. So you come mm -hmm. over here. This is what I call the most brilliant oven that's ever been born. It's, it started from me having a little kitchenette and wanting to have a small oven that I could sort of use from everything, from toasting, doing a tuna melt, of course, baking a pizza. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> that was really hot. Ah, that's my voice just went it, up a couple of It gets warm. Things. It definitely gets warm. <laughs> um, but you can roast in it. You can cook rotisserie in this oven. Yeah, There's so crazy. many things. Look at this pizza and listen to this. You, can you hear the base of that pizza? You know, it's sort of just so fantastic. Incredible. Beautiful, crispy crust on the bottom and just the perfect uh, pizza. So the idea of this oven is the, the heat circulates around in a really beautiful way. So what, what it is, of course, is a convection oven. You just set it to where you want it, so you can just roll on through um, the dial. Of course, you choose, uh, first of all, the mode, and then you just roll on through. No, listen to me. <laughs> roll on through, and it does what you're doing. I want to show you two things here, though. I've also got my little um, timer going here, which is a probe thermometer. You need one of these for the holidays, okay? So I've got this set. We're roasting some turkey, so you just scroll on through until you find turkey. It will preset it at 165. We've already cooked it to 168, so we've taken it just a few degrees over where we should have, but at least you know exactly where you are at when you're cooking it. And by the way, have oh a look man. at the size of the oven. You know, you can pull an entire turkey crown out like that, um, and you've got this, uh, this beautiful turkey. So imagine being able to roast. See that crispy skin? That happens because what we have is infrared um, technology in the oven. So you actually get to, on the rotisserie and broil, you get to sort of stick it on. And look at this juicy turkey. Mm. Thank goodness. Um, right, so you can now cook so beautifully because of the infrared, and I'm going to show you the feature in just a second. Sure, sure. But we stick it on a broil, and you end up with crispy skin, chicken, turkey, beef, you name it. Yeah. Okay, so understand, this is a nine-in-one. I'm going to list it off, and then we'll say hi to Nancy. Yeah. Bake broil, slow cook, roast, convection, toast, rotisserie, a true rotisserie, defrost and keep warm. And it's the best size. It's such a perfect little size. I call it the small compact size that does more than ever. And think about all the things you need to be able to do all that. You gotta have a big oven, if you get a big rotisserie unit, you'd spend a fortune, a toaster. This does it all in such a small little footprint. So it's counter top friendly is how I put it. it sure and that's is. real estate that's valuable. Get rid of a bunch of other appliances. This is truly all you need. And I want you to do this. Read the customer reviews. They're great on this too. Oh, yeah. I hope you read the one. This one gal said with a couple, she loved it, loved it. Easy to use, really simple, loved the results. And she said for a few extra flex, can I have Curtis Stone come cook at my house for a couple days? You don't need the extra flex, darling. I'll come and do it in regard. Thank I you for that, the review. I thought it was a great how review. How sweet is that? All right, Nancy in New York, thank you for being patient. You're now on with Chef Curtis Stone. Stone. Uh, hello, how are you? Hey, Nancy, how you doing? I'm doing well. I just want to let you know that I had I had uh, purchased the entire set, not only the fry pan set, but also the saucepans. They are fabulous. They, when you say nonstick, it's absolutely nonstick. I have purchased other nonstick products, mm -hmm. and like the lady said a few t um, a, a few minutes ago, they after maybe a month or so, they get scratched. But your product is is the best. In fact, I I made Parmesan bowls in one of the saucepans. Mm -hmm. And it came out perfectly. Wow. You know, where you just put the Parmesan in, and right. then, you know, I made it into a bowl, and then I had filled it with spaghetti. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, yum. That, that must have been really good. That sounds good. so and good. And also, I wanted to let you know, too, Curtis, that I had a question on one of the pots 
and I called your customer service. You have the best customer service. I spoke to someone by the name of Sandra, and she was great. I had called her a couple of times, and so if anybody ever has a question with any of your products, um, like I said, your customer service is, is just fabulous. Yeah, you so sweetheart. I'm, Thank I'm you, Nancy. I'm, gonna... I'm pleased with your customer service, and it's, it's wonderful. That's so good to hear, and those guys work so hard, and the truth is they really believe in the product as well. You know, we're a small business, and we, mm -hmm. we really love what we do, and we're just happy to be bringing home-cooked meals to people all over the place, Sandra. Uh, Nancy, so thank you so much, darling. No problem. And no one, no one will, and anyone who purchases your product will not, believe me, will not be disappointed because uh, the quality is, is fabulous. And um, I've, I've, I've had pots and pans. I've bought, like I said, several sets. And, and this is the best of the best. I bought the red, and it looks just great. And um, mm -hmm. people have even said, oh, you know, where did you get that? So I, I think other people are going to be ordering them as well because, like I said, I'm very, very satisfied with your product. Hey, well, Nancy, just FYI, I was having a full conversation with my girlfriend the other day, Lana, and she's I'm looking for a cookware set. And I I literally texted her before the show and I said, if you want to try it, that three piece set is the perfect way to do it. So I'm sure you'd recommend yes. that to your friends, right? Yes, I did, yes. And That's I, a real I, winner. I have the whole set. I mean I right. have the, the saucepans and the frying pans and I mean I have I have everything and um I, I I'm just very pleased. Mm. I like I said I had bought <laughs> another uh the copper pan. I don't know if I should say that, but <laughs> I bought this copper pan and it and after about a week or so everything started to stick, it started to burn. It was terrible from, you know, another manufacturer. Yeah. And Curtis Stone's product is just it's it's great. I I can't say anything more. It's just a, a great product. Well, thank darling, you, Nancy. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Nancy, I'm going to get cooking in this oven, my darling, because I really want everyone to see just how incredible it can be. Um, there's so many different things here. You can bake. You can put on convection. Of course, you can toast. You can slow cook. Um, you can roast. You can uh, use the rotisserie, the broil, etc. So I'm going to warm a pie in there on a low heat. You saw me make some nachos just now. This is how it works. You go ahead and choose what it is that you want to. Um, so let's let's just say so you we just start dial from the start. It in? Turn oh, it off, great. right? Good, good, good. So yeah, then okay. you turn it on, okay. and then you decide. You press mode, and then you choose what you want to put it on. So I want to put this on uh, rotis uh, on broil. So we're going to broil it. So let's say uh, start, and then you can choose the time. So if you if you think it's going to only take like three minutes or four minutes, you can just. It's so easy to use. You That's know, you just cool. literally spin that dial. You press start and away it goes now it's gonna it's gonna beep in the four minutes and tell us when it's ready okay. um, now the next feature that I want to show you which is in the next oven is a really cool one and you don't get this with many ovens at all I'm gonna open the door this so you can see it actually happening phenomenal isn't the this same thing fantastic? that can make my toast and muffins in the morning oh my goodness it's doing a full-on rotisserie it's doing a full-on <laughs> rotisserie chicken and can you see that golden wow. color that happens for two reasons because the heat's circulating evenly but most importantly the infrared light I don't know if you can, can get you a camera to come that? down and see the actual light. Can a camera it's, drop down and see right up the top under there? there. It, it's what gives it that beautiful glow, but more importantly, it's what gives it that just unbelievable, yeah, you see that red light in there? It's what gives that unbelievable crispy skin chicken. Oh, now, I know man. a lot of people are like, but aren't they hard to use? Are they hard to clean? Watch this. Turn it off, right? It stops spinning. This comes with it, of course. You reach in there, you lift up. The chicken will just come straight out like that. You bring it over to your cutting board and you let it rest, right? Now, normally you would let a chicken rest for um, maybe 15 or 20 minutes before you actually carve it. I'm gonna do it for you right now. Uh, I'm gonna do it like <laughs> this. You just undo that screw there, just like two twists on either side, and then literally just use a cloth and pull it apart. That's great. Okay? And the chicken comes out like that. Mm. And then you've got this perfectly roasted chicken. You know that it's going to be perfectly cooked. The skin couldn't be any crisper. And you, you achieved it because... And look inside. That's just crazy delicious. Look how juicy oh and just fantastic this chicken it's is. It's just perfect. I mean, think about it. You know, Chef, we go to restaurants just to get the rotisserie chicken. Oh, because absolutely. Because it's just one of the most succulent and delicious things ever in the entire world. Now you can do it. Could I do a pork on here? I could do duck on I'm here. I'm just going to pull that I could do a small turkey wing. breast on here. You can do a turkey breast. Pork. You can Absolutely. Well, I've got more stuff going. Come right. over here okay. and take a look. Oh, look at this. Oh, By the wow. way, if you're thinking of wondering about the capacity, there's 36 dinner rolls in this giant tin. Watch this. Straight in. No problem. Oh, brilliant. No problem. Again, let's let's turn it on. Let's put it this time onto bake. 
and we want a relatively low heat because we're only um, heating it up and for a relatively low period of time, let's call it maybe 10 minutes. So you just spin that dial around until you get to 10 and you start it. I love how um, easy the dial is. So easy. You know, you're not hitting a button 20 times to get to the temperature, or you just literally dial it in. Right. Um, here's what I want to mention, James and Barbara, we're gonna take both your calls. I just want you to look on FlexPay on this. This is, and read the customer reviews. Go on .com and just Google them, or go on and check them out. They're amazing on this, and it kind of doesn't surprise me, but a lot of times you say, okay, what would it take? Can I get rid of my toaster? Yeah, that's gone. Uh, do I have a regular oven in my house? Okay, you're not gonna be using that anymore, because this literally is gonna roast it's a rotisserie, it bakes, it slow cooks, it keeps warm if you want it to, it broils, it's going to toast, it's going to defrost, and it's it convection. It can defrost, yeah. There's yeah. actually is a it, defrost setting. How so crazy is that? If you have a piece of beef or something that you want to cook that night, you stick it in, you press it on defrost, the instructions will tell you exactly how long for, depending on the weight. That's great. But check out this... Oh. Um, Standing rib. That's I gorgeous. mean, how good does that look? Again, you just turn it off, you come on in here, you lift it up, the standing rib comes out. Oh my You goodness. bring it over here, and again, you, you all you need to do is carve it at this point. So, yeah, to, to uh, take it off the actual contraption, again, there's a little, um, uh, what would you call it? A little like screw, a screw that you twist yeah. on either side, and then you just pull those two things um, out like that. Couldn't be easier. I'm going to show you one more thing. If you're not sure how this beef is cooked at this point, you need to get yourself one of these thermometers. I'm going to set it to beef. Okay, so we set it to beef. You go ahead and you stick it straight in the middle. And then this is going to give you a readout of the core temperature. So at the moment it's at 134. What we wanted, it, what, depending on how you want it cooked, you know, medium is 140, medium rare is 130. So this is somewhere between medium rare and medium, okay? So it's beeping because it's telling me that it's just got to medium rare. So I stop it and let's have a look. I guarantee you this will be a perfect medium rare. Now it should rest for a minute first, sure. but I'm gonna car carve it so it'll look a little rarer than it is. There you go. I mean, imagine knowing that at Christmas time, oh, wow. your roast beef is coming out like that. And, and it's all you perfect. Need... And you're guaranteed it's perfect when you have a thermometer. Absolutely. So ask about that. Let's say hi to James in Washington. Hi, James. James. How are you, James? Well, hello, Curtis. Uh, man, um, you've just flipped the cooking world on its head. Um, <laughs> so last year, um, I bought the whole set that you had for four of my adult children. Uh -huh. And not one of them has ever called and said one negative thing. And I have your whole set and, wow. and then beyond. I bought your conventional oven. Oh, yeah. Oven. Yeah. So when did you uh, got so that the first 12, time you had it? Um, I put an oven or I put a pizza in the oven and I almost burnt the house down. <laughs> <laughs> my mom goes, oh, my God, we have to teach you how to cook. We have to get you in culinary art school. Mm -hmm. She goes, you left the cardboard under the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, um, I didn't know any different, so don't blame me. I didn't burn the house down. But, so now I'm 54, almost 55, and I, I love to cook. And, okay. Curtis, um, I, I have every product you have on the market, and... Uh, all I can do is thank you and let you know that um, I make meals that uh, my kids come over for. They don't want to go home. Oh, how That's nice. nice. How good nice. is that, James? You've just made my day. Thank you so much, buddy. I'm well, so, so glad. Well, Curtis. And, hey, give them prep cooks uh, what they deserve because we can't do it without them. Okay? You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> Apart from Rochelle, we could do without her. Yeah, Rochelle, Monday, Tuesday, she's iffy. No, I'm only joking. We love Rochelle. We love her. <laughs> well, thank you, James. <laughs> thank you, James. Thank you so much, buddy. You've made Made my night. You really have. Uh, That's so cool. You, you're a great person. I appreciate you. Thank you. Happy Thank you, holidays. Mate. Happy James. holidays. Thank buddy. you. Hey, Barbara, we're going to take your call in one second. We just want to show you something else coming out of this yeah, so amazing I'm, I'm, oven. I'm just pulling things out, and this oven's actually turned off because when you get to the right time, it will switch straight over to a, a, a stay warm mode. Does it really automatically? Automatically. So you don't have so, to worry about it overcooking. Yeah, because Huge. if you set the timer, then you don't have to think, is it going to be okay? Is it not? That's this great. is some mashed potatoes that we did with a little oh, bit of. This is a bacon uh, mashed um, potato. Bacon mashed potato. Thanks, Kat. And you see, I've also put this straight down onto my trivet. See, that's now telling me that the eight minutes is up. Remember? Okay, that's Remember? Great. So then that'll just flick on over. Um, so have a look at this bacon mash. Mm. 
Oh my goodness. It's so good. Oh, where's the fork when you need I it? Mean, oh, I found a fork. Oh. <laughs> you know what we actually did? We smoked the potatoes in the smoker did earlier. You really? So have a taste. You'll get a, it's going to be red hot. So okay, I'm going to leave it there. Let it cool for a minute. Um, and the, like, I'm just going to keep pulling things out of the oven. Thanks. Okay, Kat. while you do that, too, a chef we're going to say hi to Barbara in Florida. Hi, Barbara. You're on with oh, Chef yeah. Curtis Stone. Hello. How are you? Oh, really good, Barbara. How are you, sweetie? Here, I'll take it. Pretty good, pretty good. I want you to know I love your pots and pans. Uh, Every good. time I use them and I go over to the sink to wipe it out clean, I say, I love my Curtis Stone. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I, How nice. The first piece I bought, my jaw dropped all the way down to the top of my stove. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Is that How right? These pots and pans are wonderful. So I had ordered only one piece, and then I went back and I ordered your 13-piece set, which I can't get anymore, right. but I'd like to have another 13-piece set. <laughs> and, and I got a smaller set, oh, thank you. and I want the big set again because it's got so many extra nice pieces in it. It sure but does. Just all your stuff I love, 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 love. Uh, Barbara, you're unreal. Thank you, sweetie. That's well, so cool. Thank you, Barbara. Really You're appreciate it. You're very welcome, and thank you, and keep on making all these good things, because I'm <laughs> buying still. <laughs> yes, I can. I'm not going to stop. You, you convinced Barbara, me. thank you. Barbara, and by the way, I think we do have a 12-piece set that's actually in stock, so if you do want to really just jump to, the, we have the three-pan set that we featured earlier this hour. If you just want to jump to a big set, you're like, I'm all in, yeah. ask about the 12-piece set that we have in stock. I know it's on Flex. we got a great holiday price on it, so if you really want to go for a mega set, I believe, and Daryl, if you can find the item number for that, I believe we have that in stock right now. What are you pulling out? So this is bacon. Have you ever wondered how you go to a restaurant and the bacon comes out looking just perfectly crisp and perfectly flat? Well, what we do is we stick it on a little rack and we bake it. We don't actually fry it. Very often this happens because you want that perfect strip. You know, so I've, you can do bacon in it. I've done some little... Um, oh, those look great. ...caramel sort of uh, uh, cinnamon buns. You know, so you can bake this kind of thing. It's great for cookies. Um, it, again, rotisserie. I've got another rotisserie that I'm going to pull out down this end. Uh, we've done a loin of pork. Just to show you the variety of things that you can do. Oh, have man. a look at this line of pork great. here. You know, Chef, when you think about it, a lot of people have thought about just getting a machine that's a rotisserie. That's right. all it does. It's a rotisserie and doesn't do anything else, and you can spend well over $100 on it. Yep. This does it all. Imagine never looking at and using your oven. How cool would that be? You've always wanted and dreamed of having a rotisserie for beautiful chickens and porks and meat. It'll do that. It's going to make your bacon. It's going to do the mashed potatoes. It's going to make the cookies and the breads. And mm -hmm. You think A to Z with this, and I'll tell you, the footprint is like the size of a small microwave. That's what really impressed me, Chef, is this has a huge capacity, right. and yet it doesn't take up a huge amount of space on your counter. Top. That's so true. Yeah. And, and you know what? Like like I said, th th this was the dream child of how do I get a nice little sort of toaster oven down in my kitchenette mm -hmm. and started developing from there. And then I was like, you know what? They have the technology to put a rotisserie in something this small. Why can't I incorporate that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I started thinking about the infrared. Hey, you get that? <laughs> I'm trying to talk with a mouthful of roast pork. <laughs> We're both just eating away. Mm, like, so good, though. But, but the infrared is such a big such change a big feature. in any of these kind of ovens that are out there. And convection cooking, let's talk about that quickly. You'll cook yeah. faster and better, and why? Oh, yeah, you cook faster and better. Um, you talk about infrared and you want extra crisp. Well, there it is right there, That's ladies great. and gents. That's great. You know, the, the nachos that you saw me make just moments ago are already ready, mm -hmm. and they've gone beautiful and crispy um, on the nachos. But because I sit the time, it turned itself off so it doesn't burn and that's what's really cool about it and with convection cooking mm. in general you will cook dramatically faster and get better results don't you find too when you're baking in convection it's fluffier isn't that kind of the trick of bakeries they mm. use convection ovens because the results are so much fluffier and better right so a convection oven is literally a fan forced oven so there's a little fan that goes off and just circulates that air so that air is effectively cooking much more efficiently because it's moving around what it is that you're cooking. So you're getting a much faster product and also a much better product because you're not getting some areas that are hot. You know, sometimes you'll take a roast out and you're like, I don't know why it's burnt over that side or my potatoes are black on one side but they're not even cooked on the other. That's because you don't have convection and convection really can change things for you. Well, and I want to mention too, if you guys love doing baked uh, baked goods, let's say you're making cookies for the holidays, you know, Christmas cookies, mm -hmm. how often
often in your oven do you have the hot spot and the cold spot? You're like, how come the cookies on the outside of my pan are right. way crispy and the inside they're still doughy in the center? It's because there's hot and cool spots in an oven. With convection, it's constantly circulating that air so you never have that issue. So your cookies come out brilliant every time. Oh, this is man. the perfect example of it. Because see how it's golden beautiful. and caramelized that is all the way around? Yep. And I'm gonna cut into it just so you see that it's not the color of the actual cake. You know, the actual <laughs> cake is like that. Oh, okay. look, and there's no doughy interior. Right, it's perfectly even, wow. beautifully finished. That's beautiful. Um, so then, of course, you know, if you want to, uh, if you want to sort of finish this off, you could put some what cream or just a little powdered sugar. Bunt cake. Okay. It's a bun, just bunt a classic cake. bunt cake. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Entirely new way to cook. You're going to do more cooking in mm -hmm. less space, and you're going to do it more effectively. Um, so if you want to say goodbye to your, I think your oven's going to be lonely. It'll be like, please use me, and you'll be like, no, no thanks. This is going to do it for. But you know, I mean, look, obviously we're coming up to the holidays. You always need that one extra little place to put something in the oven because you've got a big turkey or a standing rib or whatever and then you don't have room for the vegetables. Well, guess what? Now your old oven will be taking care of the vegetables because you'll be rotisserieing, um, <laughs> cooking by rotisserie uh, the standing rib or whatever it is that you're going to cook. So yes, there's those pinch point times, the holidays for sure, you need an extra oven. But there's also those moments in the middle of summer when you're like, it's so hot, I don't want to bake, I don't want to put the oven on. This little guy hardly exudes any heat. If, if anything, the top gets nice and warm, so you can put plates on top. I actually put my plates on top, so feel idea. that? It's just perfectly sort of pre-warmed. Oh, it's like a warmed plate. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good idea. <laughs> you can put your coffee cups on top, so you've got a nice warm coffee that's cup. That's really a great idea. Um, you know, so there's just so many uh, quick, simple ways to do it. Someone said to me, who's the right person to buy this kind of oven for? Well, yes, of course. Somebody that's got a kitchenette or a, or a, a, a trailer or an RV a or a condo or a cottage. Yes, but the truth is everybody would love this because having that thing you know sometimes i made a tuna melt before or a, or a turkey melt you know and you don't want to turn the oven and you also don't want to wait for it this is so much faster to get point. hot that's a great point you know like how fast does how fast could you do a grilled cheese like that at home in your normal oven it would take forever but i'm able to do it thank you cat in um, in moments Kat, you've been playing with this oven since we designed it what's I your favorite part about it i love it my one of my favorite parts is that it heats up so quickly compared to my regular oven. Right. It's about at least half right. of the time to heat up my wow. oven. So when I'm in a hurry and I need to throw something in, but I use it for the simple things like toasting, but I've also baked, I made some pesto, your recipe that comes in your guide the other day, the fro from oh, frozen yeah. chicken, the pesto chicken. Yeah. It was fantastic. It's ready in 20 minutes. Isn't it fun it's though so at one night if you decide to do a rotisserie, you can? Absolutely. Like it's not like, oh, I'd love rotisserie. Oh. Bratwurst are really good on rotisserie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Very so good. here's what we're doing. We've got five flex pay, right? Get this home for under $30. It makes a wonderful gift idea. We have a holiday price for a very limited time and free shipping, and that saves you another about $15 because you're shopping tonight with us. So just don't miss out. It, it really is, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get rid of all the clutter on my countertop, ignore my oven, it'll be a sad oven, but who cares? And really, you'll use this. And if you don't believe me, please read the reviews. Chef, the reviews on this are absolutely out of this world. At review after review said easy, fast, quick, love yeah. the results. And it's so funny, Daryl, our producer, he's buying one. Daryl, why are you buying one tonight? For your mom. Are oh, you getting it for Kathy? Oh, for your mother. Oh, okay, gotcha. So you're gonna buy it for your mother. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, and she's a microwave person. She'll totally blow that microwave off. I know the microwave story. Oh, she likes the convection. Sorry, he's in my ear telling me. Yeah, the convection's brilliant. <laughs> no, she's just talking to herself. She's gone she's mad. Like, Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> oh, that it's happened right. years it ago. Happened a long time ago. <laughs> that happened a long time ago. Okay, we really want to.